So what are you afraid of? <laughs> Fear is one of those feelings that maybe we're very attuned to and very comfortable with and aware of. And fear, like when we start to feel afraid, can also be a place where we can get very activated. So today, today we're going to really talk about how to work with fear, which is very closely tied to anxiety, so that we can go in and out of these states of um, being and really remain grounded and connected. So let's talk about it. One of my favorite sayings about fear is that when you know what you're afraid of, you know what you really want. It's a beautiful thing because what this is doing is translating fear, which is a state of being that usually causes us to feel very paralyzed and very stuck and translating it into a desire or like what we're longing for, where we're trying to get to. And then that can often tell us like what we might need to do in order to take some action to overcome fear. Because one thing that's really true about fear is that we can't really think ourselves out of fear like in a long-term kind of way, we really have to do something in order to move out of the fear, being like a fear that we go into over and over and over again. That's a story for another day. What we're really looking at today is when the feeling of fear arises in our system, can we navigate that, right? Can we, again, this idea of pendulation, of feeling the activation that comes with feeling afraid, and then be able to move the system back out? So I encourage you to have a pen and a piece of paper as we work through our exercise and our work today so you can really get the most benefit out of this what you're going to do to start out is to bring to mind a memory of something that happened recently, um, recently, not very long ago, very historical, a recent memory where you felt moderate feelings of fear. Remember, we're not trying to go into like our deepest, darkest moment, the thing, the time when we were just scared shitless, but we're really looking at a moderate level of fear. So if you're thinking about the thermometer, the distress thermometer that goes from zero to a 100, we're thinking of an experience that hits right around like what you would count as like a 35, like that level of distress, that level of fear. So take a moment and choose an event that's not too fear inducing, but has just enough kind of charge or energy to it so that you can really start to feel and experience the fear in your system. So now that you have this experience in mind, I want you to begin thinking about the details of the experience. And then I want you to try to bottom line it Again, one of the greatest things that we can ever do when we're starting to feel activated, we're thinking about something, is to just bottom line what we're thinking about, what's going on. So that time when I saw that spider, ooh, that takes me back to my time in Australia. Those spiders were huge. <laughs> okay, that time last week when I got into an accident. Um, maybe, you know, my partner slamming the door or raising their voice. So go ahead and take a moment to just write down in one sentence what it was and what was happening when you felt afraid. And now I'm going to ask you to expand upon that and really start to get more into the nitty gritty details. So start to call to mind and almost like presence this and place yourself in this moment. Where were you? What was happening? Who else was there? Why did it happen? And as you begin to ask these questions, you're drawing yourself more into the narrative and more into the memory and the experience. And so the neurons in your brain are lighting up, neuronal pathways are firing, and so you may start to re-experience and feel some of the distress. You might start to notice some things happening in your body, and this is a good moment to just check in. I'm thinking through this experience, and what do I notice is happening with my body? Take a little moment to do some inventory. You don't have to change anything. You don't have to fix anything. 
just notice what's ha happening. And even if you're starting to feel some distress, just notice that you're still actually okay. You start to reach levels of distress that don't feel manageable, then just pause this video, come back to it later, take a break. But it's important to notice that you have the capacity to be with the feeling of fear. Now, as you continue to think about this moment in time and this memory, I want you to now really connect into the feeling. How did you feel at the time? And start giving that some language. I felt blank. Of course, fear is going to be on that list, but see if you can become a little more nuanced. Um, look at some of the other layers. What else might have been going on? What other feelings might have been happening alongside this fear? Start to notice what you were thinking at that time. What were the thoughts? One of the things that's so very true is that our thoughts directly impact and influence our feelings. So if you were thinking, I'm not safe, or, oh my gosh, this thing is going to kill me, <laughs> right? Or I'm trapped, I can't get away. Understanding the thoughts that are attached to the feeling, super, super important. So take a moment to see if you can identify that. As you're noticing the feelings and the thoughts keep connecting with your body. Notice if the sensations are changing. Are they moving? Are they becoming more intense? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to work on getting a little bit of perspective. So now really ground yourself here in the here and now. Look around, remind yourself when you are and where you are. Remind yourself that whatever it was that you were afraid of is not happening right now. And then notice if you can get some perspective. If you look back on the experience with some perspective, how do you feel about it now? What feelings are present? What are the thoughts that are present now as you look back on this experience? Maybe that spider was really scary, but actually I was okay. Nothing bad happened. Take a moment to connect in and just notice as you bring yourself into the present and as you look back with some perspective, what's happening in the body. Again, you don't have to fix or change anything. This is just about awareness and noticing the feelings and sensations and just being with them. Start to do a bit of an inventory to just notice if there are any indicators of distress that are happening. Is your heart racing? Are you clenching or tightening your muscles? Do you feel like you're having a harder time breathing? Are you feeling fidgety? Is anything kind of happening in the body? It's important to be able to know what are the signals that your body sends that you are in a state of distress. So just take a moment to notice that. Yeah. Beautiful. So when we start to feel afraid, it is because there is a part of us that believes there is a threat. Now there could be a very real threat, like a spider or a snake, or there could be a perceived threat. There's actually nothing bad happening, but the brain misinterprets the data and the information that's coming in and begins to stimulate the fight flight system. When we're afraid, we've got to do something to survive. So there's nothing wrong with the feeling of distress in your body. In this moment, connect into any feelings of distress. 
And then I'd like you to take a breath and imagine that you're breathing in calm, cooling light that is then going to any part of your body that feels tight or stressed or activated. And this calm, cooling light starts to fill that space. As you breathe in, and then as you breathe out, imagine that you're expelling any of the distress, the dark energy, the activation, that you're literally blowing it out of your body, letting it leave. Continue to notice and just kind of pace yourself and see like, yep, okay, that brought it down, the distress down a couple of notches, taking another breath in and breathing out and really visualizing the system coming back into a state of regulation and calm. Noticing the distress signals, noticing where you're feeling any tension or activation in your body. Continuing to breathe in this cool, calming light. And breathing out, imagining that this stress and this tension and this fear is leaving your system. If it helps, you can say things like, I'm safe, I'm not in danger, there's no threat here. Beautiful. Okay. So this is just one way. There are so, so many ways to work with fear and to work with anxiety. That's something that I get into in a lot more depth in depth in my Beyond Surviving program. But I want you to just try out this little tool um, as you're noticing moments of fear or distress. See if you can take this process and repeat it um, and learn from it as a way to start understanding how your body cues you that you're in fear or you're in distress and then how you can step back, get some perspective and then cool down your system through this beautiful breathing exercise. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns, let me know. And until next time, take good care of you. Bye.